um, which is where some people feel that the lighter skin women are a lot more beautiful than dark skin women. Now, see, I'm in dark. I'm gonna tell you why light skin women. I'm not saying that they are because it just depends on your preference. But let me tell you this, from my opinion. If see a light skinned woman with hair like that, it looks it looks more natural. You don't feel beautiful. Let me tell you something. She don't feel beautiful. Look at all this. Look at this hair. You know that shit didn't grow up out of her hair. You know she didn't grow that, right? Nothing about this woman is natural. She got to put on fake shit to feel beautiful. So at what point should black men accept black women when when they when they won't even accept themselves? They want to they want embrace natural beauty. They won't even embrace natural hair, but they want black men to accept these females with all these character flaws. You went out there, listen, man, this woman went and she paid for a wig. She she got a wig that came from China to feel beautiful. And she got the nerve to say why black women should start dating white men. Listen, a black woman like this should date white men because black men shouldn't want nothing to do with a female who's so insecure that she got to buy hair from India or China to feel beautiful. You deserve better as a black man. Our skin girl. And um, I have experience firsthand colorism from my own people just not too long ago i got into it with a girl and how you gonna complain about colorism with a wig from china with a wig from india it'd be one thing if she embraced her natural hair and she said that black people put her down for her natural features and she complained about colorism she would have a point this woman has a wig from China and a gang of cake up. She looks terrible. Ain't got the nerve to complain about colorism and you won't even embrace your natural beauty. Your natural hair. And um, her biggest comeback to me was the fact that I was dark skin and I was a burnt biscuit. She was prettier than me because she was light skin. Uh, mind you, this girl was like Haitian or something like that. So she's blackity black. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like she's half black, half white. She's just strictly black. But she felt that because she was lighter skinned than me, that she was more attractive than me. And um, one, she was lying because, bitch, I look the fuck good, okay? I'm not going to compete with no bitch. Just because you're lighter skinned than me, you think you're beautiful. Or da, da, da. I'm beautiful because I'm dark skinned. I love my dark beautiful skin do you really listen you can tell she don't uh have natural self-esteem she don't even feel that she's beautiful she don't feel that she's beautiful there's listen you can look at this woman and tell that she don't feel like she's beautiful when she wake up in the morning she don't but for some reason she wants you to feel a certain way about her that she don't feel about herself Get it together. That I'm not bashing African American men, black men, African men in any way. Um, I'm strictly just talking about something that I feel like a lot of us don't talk about, and we just kind of let it go, which is the fact that black men in our community do not uplift black women. And um, just you know, a couple of days ago, a video on YouTube with 50 Cent and Lil Wayne talking. My my, my thing is this. If, if, if black women want to be taken serious, you can't buy hair from India and say why black men don't love black women. You don't even love yourself. You don't. The entire video, all they have to say was how um, black women are not exotic and how we are not attractive and we're not wealthy. We're not come from a background of, of, you know, with family members that have money and stuff like that. And how when we see black men date women of other races, we have an issue with it. See, and I just feel like that's not true. I don't think any black woman has a problem with a man dating outside of his race. I think the problem that we have is a lot of... I'm going to do a stream on that tomorrow. The quote-unquote black community, they 
tend to talk down on black women. They tend to degrade black women. Hey. They tend to degrade black <laughs> women. They tend to go on social media and let it be known that they're not attracted to black women, which to me is just like, who asked you? You know what I'm saying? Like, who asked you? Who asked for your opinion? Who cares? If you want to date Karen, date Karen. Why do you have to go on social media and say, oh, I'm with Karen because okay, Karen Okay, let me has... tell you something. Go where you are appreciated. The same with 50 Cent things that women of other color are beautiful, fresh out the boat, da 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 it's the same way some white men think that black women are exotic. You know, they love the dark skin, the contrast of our skin, how smooth our skin is. They love that we um, are, you know, like we know what we want and we're, I don't want to say demanding, but like we're assertive. We don't take shit. Some people actually love that. Stop chasing after these men who don't want you. There are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to like dating outside of your race, especially from black men. You know, they say that white men have small dicks and white men. Who cares? Let, let's move on. She's a bird brain. Clearly she's a bird brain. Let's go to the pink pill.